What you doing now, Dave? Well, the sink is starting to fall out, if you noticed. Ooh. So. What made you notice that? I just saw a little crack right there. Uh huh. So today, take the sink out, re-silicone it. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two K and M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. We're probably going to use uh, the Lexel stuff because it's got a real ad adhesive quality to it. Didn't and then I'll put the sink back up in there and try to brace it. So this is a 2015, and we had this repaired once already. Once, yeah. Which was about two, two years ago. And now it's happened again. It has that. It had that nasty garbage disposal in there. Okay. And I think I'm gonna delete that, get rid of it, because okay. there's no reason for a garbage disposal in an RV, unless well, you want to pump a bunch of chunks into your tank. So you recommend no garbage disposal? I recommend no garbage disposal. And from the person who generally does the majority of the cooking and the cleaning up and the washing of the dishes? That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say the only time I ever run it is just to make sure there's nothing in there. I never intentionally put anything in it. Right. And it's a bug trap. Oh. Like those little fruit flies and things get down in there and that's where they live. Get rid of it. Yeah, the inside of this thing looks kind it's of gross. rusted. Yeah. When I was digging it out of there, little flies were coming out of it. Are you serious? Serious. And when we had it repaired last time, we'll see underneath here. You've already taken the plumbing out, haven't you? Yeah. Let me turn my light on. Back over here, they put a piece of wood from the floor of the cabinet all the way up to the lip of the sink underneath there. Where was this at? Right here. Oh. Up along that side. You're talking about this right here. Right. Look, oh. all the way up in there, it goes to the lip of the sink. Gotcha. One of the other things that we changed um, in the last year, I would say, is when we used to travel, we used to put these covers back on. Right. But there was really no sense in having them on because all that was doing was bouncing up and down and creating more weight and on stress the on the sink. Right. So we do not travel with those. The only time we use them is if we need more counter space. That's it. Go underneath here and remove that one brace, and I'll bet you that this thing's probably going to drop out pretty easy. It'll give us a little more room in here too, without the garbage disposal. Yeah. We all know the room is everything push on it. Nah, it's pretty good right here along this side. So are you still going to remove the whole thing? Got to. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. So you just go along the edge here. It's not going to be as hard as you think. Oh. <laughs> look at you, gotta, you just got to catch at, it. Look at this. There's hardly anything in there if it's that easy. Yeah. Or it's just withered away. I don't think there's much in there. This is about the only spot that's holding. Are you going to try to clean the goop off of there before you put it back in? Oh, yeah. That's on there right there. All right, what is he? Yeah. I think what happened is the last time they did this, what they did is just hold it down like that and pump some stuff in around it. Mm-hmm. Are you going to have to remove the counter? No. I hope not. <laughs> I think you're breaking this stuff just so you can drink more beer. Well, this is going to be a quite a beer job. I know. you got the AC on and you've got a little sweat on the brow. I'm still sweating. <laughs> Looks like you got it loose. It's loose. Doesn't want to come out? No. Just, there's a brace up in here. I gotta take out. You gonna put it back in? Yeah, I will. I 
that one. on that one corner. It's probably left over from the countertop buildup. Hmm. But yeah, pretty nasty. That's going to take a while to get that all off. Oh there. yeah. Get all the edge here. Clean that up. So you were talking about getting rid of this since you're not going to put the garbage disposal back in and eliminate this, but why don't we yeah. Use that light switch and put an actual light in here so you don't have to push a button. Yeah, we could put a, a rim of LED lights in there. Yeah. So you could hit it and boom, it's all lit up so you can see what the what's going on in there. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah. So use, good, good use idea, a, Karen. Oh, thanks, that Dave. That was Karen's idea. I know. I just I was all for just getting rid of it. But. It provides you with another task and more beer. I was going to say, Karen's finding me stuff to do. And it's always, what you doing, Dave? It's, no, Dave, what did I tell you to do? <laughs> I bet there's a glob of it underneath there, huh? Oh, there's all sorts of it. It's going to be a nightmare to do this. Yeah. How about we just put it back together and sell the thing? <laughs> Yeah, you got a lot of stuff to scrape off. I know you, Dave. When you do it, you do it right. So, kitchen and bath guy, previous life. Yeah. What are you finding? That connection for the dishwasher is illegal. Why is that? It shouldn't be on the floor of the cabinet just in case this floods. Oh. Are you going to move it? No, I don't know. I'll see if I got any extra wire. I might pull it up and put it somewhere, but... doing there? Sealing up the drain. Oh. This, the stink's getting to me for gray tank. There's still uh, it's a little something something. There's always something something in there. Let's put a, what was that, a shopping bag on there? Yeah. Let's throw that out. That's oh. where the garbage disposal was, right? Yeah. I got the feeling I put this in too good. You put it in? Yeah. From one time it was starting to leak. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'll get it out of there. <laughs> I see what you're doing. You're removing this stuff so I can do the cleaning of the sink. You got it. Gee, thank you. You're pretty smart. <laughs> you caught me. I'll see what I can do. So what you doing now, Karen? Hey! <laughs> um... Looking for an Arley mule? <laughs> <laughs> this has got a lot of crud on it. Got to scrape the lip of that sink off? Yeah. All the crud that's on it? Yeah, I'm going to do it right. You don't want to make it like it's new again. That's right. Can't have all this crap on here. As yeah. long as I don't stab myself with this thing. Uh, no, I shouldn't be doing this because my medication says that I'm not supposed to be handling any heavy equipment. <laughs> yeah, well, this is day three that I've been doing this now. So. <laughs> Day three and we got what? <laughs> Non-stop, <Nonstop>, man. <laughs> Day 82. Now I'm down to a razor blade. 
They okay. all I wanted to do was use brake cleaner. <laughs> no brake cleaner for you. <laughs> I'm tired of doing this. Yeah, you gotta scrape all that stuff. I shined the edges already. Stop your whining or you'll go back to retraining. <laughs> Not easy being Dave. <laughs> Very true. Day 87. I finally got it clean. Let's see where. All right. And now I get to use the brake cleaner. That's what I've been wanting to do. I'll put some on there. What's on there? It's on there. Look at that. Cleaning off all the grease and oils if there's any. I didn't care if there's any in there or not. I'm using the stuff, man. You use it all the time. I never get to use it. How did I do? How's you did look? good. You did good. Look at that. Whistle clean. Got all that junk off all of there. All around the edges and stuff. Yeah. What are you, sanding it now? Uh-huh. Why for? Get all the little residue. There's still a lot of stuff left on there. I'm cleaning it all off. Making it nice and smooth. Here, where are these glasses? Alright. Ah, there we go. What I really need is a monkey. <laughs> Come down here. Take care of it. This is the old rack, if you want to call it that, that holds the two pieces for the countertop that normally goes right here. Uh -huh. And that's so, I mean, it eats up a lot of space sitting right there. So while we have it out, why not make it so it goes like that? Oh, good idea, because you don't use that much anyways. Gosh, I'd give you a lot more working space. In oh, there. yeah. What about this thing I'm here? I'm going to take this cutoff valve right here for the dishwasher, unscrew it, and move it back here. You're going to have all kinds of room in here, and you get done with it. So that's the light strip you want to put in. Yeah. And if we plug it into here... I was thinking about mounting this thing back here. Just like that. And then the garbage disposal switch is what makes it work. Yeah. Are you putting the slack behind the drawer? Mm-hmm. Mm, what do you think about right there? Uh, why are you putting it so far down? Because the sink bowl. Oh, yeah. The sink bowl hangs down. Yeah. That sounds about right. There we go. Put that in. Put it in here. Like that. And we'll wind up all this cord. Just zip tie it together. Yeah. Voila! Be able to see under the sink. Nice. Got it. Can you turn it sideways? Uh-huh. I'm going to turn it like back over here. Can't move that one, huh? No, there's not enough slack. The power for the dishwasher? Yeah. So that one's staying there. It just comes off. I don't want to bend up the lip here. That's a fact. Yeah. I made this thing stay, didn't I? Mm-hmm. How come the, all these, none of these jobs are easy when you go to do them? I don't know. Jeez, this is like surgery. Yeah. Oh, we might have something. Oh, 
too. Woohoo! Yay! It ain't done yet. <laughs> That's true. But this was coming up. That's good. Oh, that's Half getting there. Yay. Yay. Oh. Don't know what you're doing, but you'll see. Go find out. You're not done with your job yet. Installment payment. <laughs> We're halfway through the mess. Oh. Installment payment. I'm taking it that these are going to be supports. You have taken it correctly. For the thing. Well, it secures. Oh, it's a temporary thing. Uh-huh. You got a wing nut on there? Mm-hmm. in there and run the other wing nut down and draw it up to the countertop and let it sit. Oh, you so smart. I is. Lexo. Lexo. We want to put a nice big bead up around here. You trying to stay close to the edge on purpose? Uh -huh. Getting a cramp in your hand yet? Oh yeah. Been there, done it, got it. That's some stinky stuff. Mm hmm But it works good. It does. Okay. Now I gotta figure out how I got this thing in here and out. Alright. Now. You want me to hold that? Yeah, if you could. I could try. Underneath? Yeah. Okay, we want to get this nicely centered. It's going to have to come towards me. We'll center it in a minute. Okay. Seems like it is. And after it all dries and everything, we'll run a little another bead all on the inside here. All right. Just to clean it up. How long are you gonna let this sit like this? Overnight. So I see you're all done. So I am. what did you do to finish up here? Obviously, 
You finished well, I took these. the braces out and put the strainer baskets in. Mm -hmm. Two new strainer baskets. So no more garbage disposal, just use those to... Those to yep, no more garbage disposal. Okay. And then I remounted the rack for these tops to the side so they go backwards instead of instead of side to side. Yeah, we don't pull those out of there very often anyways. No. And then I took that water valve back there. It was in the center of the floor. Mm -hmm. And I pushed it back there further. And there was a big garbage disposal hanging down in here. Got rid of that. We never used it anyways. So it gives us a whole lot more room down there. Plus the light. The light's nice and bright. Oh yeah it is. And that just flips over here where the garbage disposal used to Yep. Used to be. And wow. And then I put the bracing back in. Oh yeah, there's one here. One here. I one up, couldn't get anything up in here. It's just here. too tight. Oh, okay. So Well hopefully between the one that's in between the sinks and right. this one, you'll be good. Nothing along the back or anything like that. No. And the important question. And this is twelve pack. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it was a span of two days. On to the next project. Put, put your head down. Uh-huh, boo-boo. I got a boo-boo? Yes. <laughs> uh. You've been working. Damn it. Where's my helmet? Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Either this just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.